A couple years ago I started getting into FPV and one of my first setups and videos that I did was with this Boscam TS351 transmitter and the RC305 receiver. And I still highly recommend this setup for just entry level FPV. I had a lot of good flights with it. I did do the upgrade to the Cloverleaf antenna setup. And as this hobby continues to evolve, I'm always looking for a simpler setup. So you can see I don't have my cables here, but normally I run the video out and the power in this 800 milliamp battery. This actually runs off of anywhere between seven and 15 volts. So I normally power it with my 2S to save a little bit of weight in the air. And what I wanted to do today was introduce you to a neat little product that simplifies a lot of this setup and is actually very lightweight for doing FPV with your GoPro Hero 3 or Hero 3 Plus. And packaged at the top of this container, imagine that, a nice user manual. We're definitely not used to seeing those from these products that come out of China. Lots of neat features, super light at seven grams, 32 channel, multi-band, has an LED to show frequency, runs off of a 1S LiPo. So it says with a 500 milliamp 1S LiPo, you can get 1.3 hours of transmit time, which is pretty awesome. SMA connector, and the list goes on and on. And as you can see, it actually supports the A, B, E, and F band, which ultimately means we get to use the RC305 receiver with this transmitter. Now, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but these don't always come in the same band and I've purchased quite a few transmitters over the past two years that ultimately haven't been compatible. I believe this is an E-band if I recall and we'll see this transmitter broadcast video from the GoPro to that Boscam receiver. So first thing we'll do is I'll go ahead and put the Cloverleaf from the TS351 onto this transmitter. You definitely don't want to power this without the antenna. If you're not aware, you can burn out your transmitter if you power it without any sort of antenna on it. And we'll go ahead and connect the supplied cable. So that just plugs into this little connector right there. Now, the only complaint I have about this, and as you see right here, as I mentioned earlier, it uses external power, 3.7 volts. It would be pretty amazing if this were able to draw power from the GoPro. This is a 250 milliwatt transmitter, which is the same transmission power as my TS351. And let me point out one other thing. There is a video input and an audio input. So if you definitely wanted to use a different source than the GoPro, you could feed that through here. And I'll go ahead and connect. See it connects to the HDMI and the mini USB port. Plugs right in. And on the back, I've just velcroed this 1S 250 milliamp LiPo, and I'll go ahead and connect those. Okay, so we're powered up. You can see now that we're powered up, we're on the band A, channel one. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna go to E because I know that's what our boss cam receiver's on. I'm gonna long press this button. Now we're on B, long press again, we're gonna be on E. Okay, we're on E1, and I actually have my receiver set for channel two. So I'm gonna go ahead and just press this once. Now you can see that we're transmitting from our GoPro FPV transmitter to the receiver and then ultimately out on the LCD monitor. So it's super easy to set up the channels. I'll just go ahead and click off and we'll go back down all the way to eight and then back to channel two and we're live again. And one final word of caution, this transmitter gets incredibly hot. There have just been times where I've accidentally grabbed it and touched that chip, and it will definitely give you a little burn. So just wanted to share this with you. This little transmitter makes FPV from your GoPro super simple to set up. Now, the company that manufactures this is actually a company called Eachine. It's like the word machine with an E instead of an M. Eachine Light, 250 milliwatt, and... I got it off of Amazon for, I believe, about 59 bucks. I'm going to post a link below. I think you can also get it off of Banggood and some of these other Chinese import sites. But I definitely recommend it if you're getting started out or you just want to simplify your FPV setup a good bit. It's a great little device. Now, if only they get power coming off the GoPro, it'll make it that much better. So I hope you guys find it useful. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.